Hey, so Cat Rambo uh, shared a screenshot of the word counter target and session goal tracker of Scrivener um, in this tweet. I made the sheet because I wanted to see if I could do it in Google Sheets. Uh, just less than an hour ago, started on this, and here's what it looks like. Um, right now, you can use it. You can make a copy of the sheet. If you're watching this video, it'll be in the description. If you're watching this on Twitter, uh, it'll also be in the tweet. So over on words, literally just copy paste whatever words you do in the cells as you go down. Whatever is the bottom one is gonna be the last session. Uh, and we go over here to summary and it'll show a total summation uh, sum of all your words. It will also show you the last cell or the last row, how many words there are. And we can test this out, that's 625. Let's see, this should be less now. We'll just delete a bunch of words. There we go. So yeah, that's the one that's uh, the last one there. How this works, if you want to check it out, there's nothing on the on the words page, but on the data crunch page, what I've done is I just took an array value, array formula of all of the words, and then over in word count, uh, it's actually pretty simple, just split by the uh, uh, space, and then count however many there are. Uh, that's how many words there are, how many spaces there are essentially are splitting. Um, over on summary, it gets a little complicated in a second, but not now, right? We're just doing the sum of all of those uh, data crunches. Then the next most interesting thing is we take a count of all of them that exist, and we say, well, the count is the number of rows to the bottom. So then we take an index of that and we say that's our index or our row. And that's how we get the last row. Then the most complicated part is the spark line. So the spark line here is pretty simple just to grab the a progress bar. So we do spark line, we look at the data C14 here, and then we just give the options of chart type bar. The max is the number that we want to look at and color well I'll say in a second but essentially that's it if you just want a progress bar but we wanted to make this progress bar go from red to yellow to green uh, we can add a bunch of words and we'll see that actually let's just double this let's just actually oh, I keep hitting there we go okay so now we go back to our summary now it's green right so what I did here is I go if C14 is bigger than E14, which is the session. If it's big, it's, if it's greater than or equal to this, then we're like, oh, we're, we're done. We're, it's green, right? So we do spark. If that uh, is true, we say spark line is green. But if it's false, we do one more if statement. And we go if it's if C14 divided by E14, which is the session divided by the total target, then... We want that to be greater than 50% or 0.5, and if so, make it yellow. But if not, if, if both of these are false, if it's not greater than or equal to uh, our target, if it's not 50% or more of our target, then we want it to be red. We want, if we're 0 to 50% done, we want it to be red. So then in the, in the last false spot, we put the red. And this is all the same uh, spark line, except for the color is red, green, or yellow. Let me do that as well up here. And you can have access to the sheet. Check it out. Uh, the last thing is, did a little bit of a design here. Just removed all the grid lines. I added a uh, border to just the progress bar area. I did merge three of these columns so that the progress bar would go across the entire uh, sort of set of these numbers. Um, Again, did a border here of this. I did do one special thing here. It's very small, but it makes a huge difference, is I made sure that the column on the left and the right are the same size. And I added a column, or a row above and below this. And again, same size. And I made sure that the pixel size was the same. So in this case, 20 size row and 20 size column. And then I put the bounding box around that. So if we don't do that, if we just take our data and we put a box around it, it's very tight. You see, 
everything is together. Just this tiny little thing of adding 20, so um, you can even add more, 30, 40, 50, uh, to, around it makes it look really good, makes it look very nice and gives it a lot of room to breathe. Uh, ask me any questions you want on Twitter, if you're watching this on Twitter, on YouTube, I'm probably going to post it on YouTube. Uh, if you're a Better Sheets member, uh, check out the description, uh, check out the comments below, the description for the sheet um, link. And if you're watching this anywhere else and you're not a Better Sheets member, consider becoming a Better Sheets member today. Uh, you can get things like this for free. We, I have a whole bunch of other templates and things for free. I also have this Track Anything. It's a daily tracker that you can click here uh, every day. And then uh, over here will appear a new cell. So just like GitHub or something, you can track your progress every day. This is free. I'll try to put a, this in the description as well, a link to this. But if you're a BetterSheets member, BetterSheets.co, sorry, if you're not a member, go to BetterSheets.co. One, you get a free membership get like 60 videos now available to you. If you become a member, uh, there's lifetime access. You can get every single video, which is now almost almost 200 videos. It's like 180 plus videos now available to all members, plus uh, products like Track Anything, but I do way more stuff. Like I think I have a pro one coming out soon. Also have Only Sheets if you wanna sell Google Sheets yourself. Have a ton of other um, sheets available for members, all free. Once you become a member for one price, lifetime access, I never charge you again for access to videos, products, everything is awesome. Uh, let me know how you like this writing word tracker. If you missed any part of it, if you want me to uh, add more description, let me know. Happy to do so. Bye.